Hey everybody, this is Tyler Baker, the pastor of Valiant Baptist Church located in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm coming to you with part six of the series entitled, Jesus is Jehovah, where I'm proving from the Bible that Jesus Christ, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was in fact the one and only true God, Jehovah, manifest in the flesh. Now this week's episode is going to be a little bit different than the preceding weeks and that is number one because I'm going to be using a lot more scriptures and number two because my explanations of those scriptures are not going to be as long as they were in the preceding weeks. That's okay though because I'm going to be using a standard to prove that Jesus is Jehovah that everyone would have to agree with. If I asked you the question, tell me one thing that only God can do, tell me one thing that only Jehovah can do, you would say at the very top of that list, read people's minds, read people's thoughts. Of course, this is something only God can do. And of course, we find this teaching in the Bible. Psalm chapter number 139, verse 1 says this, O Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thought afar off. First Chronicles 28, 9. For the Lord searcheth all hearts and understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. Psalm 94, 11, The Lord knoweth the thoughts of man. So this is, of course, only something that God can do. Only something that Jehovah can do. Well, isn't it interesting when we get to the New Testament, we're told that Jesus Christ knows the thoughts of men. Matthew chapter number 9, verse number 4, And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts. So this, I believe, is a very clear truth that Jesus Christ is Jehovah. That Jesus Christ is the one and only true God, Jehovah, in the flesh. But if that's not enough for you, I actually have a verse that proves that Jesus is Jehovah in this exact regard. Jeremiah chapter number 17, verse number 10 says, I, the Lord, now that's Jehovah, I, the Lord, search the heart. I try the reins even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. So here in Jeremiah chapter number 17, verse number 10, Jehovah says that he is the one that searches the heart, that he is the one that searches the reins. That means the minds. And of course, this is only something that God can do. This is, of course, something that only Jehovah can do. He searches the heart and the mind so that he is able to judge all of mankind and give everyone according to the fruit of their doings. Well, Jesus Christ actually says that he's the one that does this. Revelation chapter number two, verse number 23 says this, and I will kill her children with death and all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts and I will give unto every one of you according to your works. Notice that Jesus Christ now says he's the one that searches the heart, that he's the one that searches the reins. Not only that, he says that he is the judge. And of course, we know that God is the judge. Jesus here says that he is the one that's going to give to everyone according to their works. Do you know why? Because Jesus Christ is the one and only true God, Jehovah. God bless you and have a great day.